Yeah, you said about the dog. Tell me. Yeah, a dog just stepped on my foot, so I was fit, but I didn't wash the shoes. So it was raining today, and my mom took the shoes inside my house. So is her hands nudge, and should she wash it seven times with water and once with soil? I think on Sunday, two days ago, I answered a similar question. I said, uh, what requires washing if the dog happens to touch you is if the dog licked you or sniffed you. So the mouth has a saliva and this moisture is a cause of the impurities. But the body of the dog itself would not make you or your clothes nudges. So if you say that a dog stepped on your shoe, your shoe is okay. You don't have to wash it. You don't have to do anything with it. And I also say to the brother who's asking the question, if the dog happened to touch you with the body and it was wet and moist, sometimes the dog, they clean, uh, the dogs clean up their bodies with their tongues. Okay. So if you think it was moist because of that, in this case, the same hukma applies. So you will have to wash your clothes seven times or wash the body part or the utensil and so on. According to the vast majority of the scholars, uh, of course. So if there was no moisture and if it was not wet and the dog stepped on your shoes or uh, it touched you with its body, there is no najasa. You don't have to wash. You don't have to do anything. Okay, Abid Barakallahu Fiqh. Assalamu alaikum.